All right, I sent you the circle of fifths. And the only really confusing thing is each of those key signatures can, um, they represent two scales, each of them. There's a major scale, which is the big notes on the outside, or big letters on the outside, and then the minor scale, which are the little notes on the inside. Uh, and you don't have to think too much about that. Um, that all it really means, um, as far as we're concerned right now, a key signature means, uh, for example, the C major, there's no sharps or flats. So that means you're only dealing with white keys. Uh, and on the circle of fifths, you'll see that, C ma uh, that no sharps or flats can mean C major or A minor. And all that means is C major, you start on C. And all these scales with your right hand, you're going to have the same fingering, except for F. So uh, you're going to start on C and you play one, two, three, and then your thumb goes under to F. I think we did this a while ago. And you play F, G, A, B, C. You end up on C with your pinky. This is C major. And you go back to your thumb, and then your third finger on E, D, thumb on C, right? That's C major, no sharps or flats. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, and then back down. Three, two, one, three, two, one. Now when you go to A minor, which is the relative minor, which in the first book there was some A minor. Uh, I don't think in the second book. Uh, but all, the only difference is it's all the same notes. It's all just white notes. But now, same fingering, you just start on A. So A minor goes like this. One, two, three, and then four on D. I mean, sorry, one on D. Pinky on A, and then back down. Three, two, one, you end up on A again, okay? So each key, key signature represents two possible keys, but there's only one key for each song right now. Um, and I hope that's clear. If not, we can we can talk about it more. Uh, but I'll do the next example, which is G major. G major has one sharp that's F sharp. And what that means is your scale looks like this. It's all the white keys, G, A, B, C, D, E. But when you get to F, it's not F, it's F sharp. So, and this is a G, it's just the same as that. So that's your that's what your scale looks like. Uh, and then you play it with your right hand the same way, or the same fingering as the other scales. So you can go start on your thumb on G, A, B, then your thumb goes to C, which is the next note, four on F sharp, and then you end your pinky on G, and then you go back down, thumb, three, two, one, okay? Uh, and then if it's the relative minor of G, which there is in this book, which is E minor, and it'll say, it'll say which one it is uh, at the top of the page, usually. But if not, don't worry about it. Again, it's not that big a deal that you know if it's major or minor. Uh, we'll, we'll get that later. Uh, but you look at the top of the page, sometimes it says D major, sometimes it says E minor, whatever. But in the case of G, again, G major. I know this is confusing. Hold on. Uh, the relative minor is E minor. So E minor is, again, it's the exact same notes, except... And now, it, well, yeah, exact same notes. So you're, it's all white keys except for F, which is sharp. Same exact thing as G major, only you, now you're going to start on E. So same fingering with your right hand. One, two on F sharp, three on G, thumb on A, and you go up and then all the way back down. Three, two, one. Okay. So all the, uh, all the sharp keys, at least, any key that's C major or any key with sharps in the right hand is going to have the same exact fingering, right? So in other words, D major, if we go to D major, has two sharps, F sharp and C sharp. So again, all the other notes are uh, natural or white. So D, E, G, A, B. So D, E, F sharp. G, A, B, C sharp, and then I double D here. That's my major scale. Uh, so again, same fingering, D, E, F sharp, thumb under to G, A, B, C sharp, D, and then back down the same way you came up. 
3 on F sharp to D, right? Uh, and you'll notice on the circle of fifths also um, that the relative minor of D major is B minor. I don't think we're going to have any B minor, but just to show you that it's, it's the same thing as all the other keys. Uh, B minor has an F sharp and a C sharp, and everything else is white. Same fingering. We go B, C sharp, D, thumb under to E, F sharp, G, A, B, and then back down. Three on D. So again, it's the exact same notes as D major, but we're just starting on a different note in the scale. Uh, now, F major... I think is the only other one that you're going to run into. Uh, oh, well, there's one more. Anyway, F major has different fingering. F major, uh, because F major has a flat now, so it's B flat. All white keys except for B flat. And your right hand finger is one, two, three, four on B flat. And then your thumb has to get all the way to C, D, E. And you end on your fourth finger on F. And then you come back down. Fourth finger on B flat. Okay? Uh, and then the only other uh, scale in the green book that we're going to deal with is G minor. And G minor has two flats. Uh, don't worry about B flat major. B flat major, if you look, again, look in the circle of fifths, B flat major is the major scale with two flats, B flat and E flat. But G minor is the, is the scale also with two flats. So what you're going to do is just play a G minor scale. When you see two flats, in this particular book, it's only going to be G, min G minor. And you're going to start on G, G, A, B flat. Thumb's going to go under to C, D, E flat, F, G. And then back down. Same way you came up. Three on B flat. And you end on G. Okay? I hope that makes sense. We'll talk more about it next time.